Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in today's video, we'll be creating a file preview screen. So it will be basically a kind of a model which will open on a, which will be opened on a click of a file thumbnail. So if you are following my videos, in last video, we have created a file thumbnail preview, which was a small preview of the file, which will give you a layout kind of the gallery you are having in your phone. Now, like if you have seen in the gallery, like whenever you will click on a picture, it will just open up in a big screen or a pop-up so the same functionality we will be creating right now so we'll be creating a file preview pop-up for our files it could be image it could be pdf it could be any other format as well okay so let me show you the output first so i have added the functionality on the account page so let me open an account Okay, so these are my files. This one is PDF and this is the JPG. Let's add one more. Uh, let's add this PDF as well. So here to upload the file, I'm using the file, uh, up lightning file upload here. So, okay, the file has been uploaded and this was the small PDF which we have created in our last video. If you have missed that video, the link will be in the top right, right this side, top right on the corner. So, yep, this was the functionality which we created last time. Now let me show you the preview. So whenever you will click on a file thumbnail, so let's say if I click on this, so you can see the preview. So this is a preview of a JPG file or an image file. Now this one is a PDF file. So in PDF file, you cannot just show a preview. You have to show all the pages as well. So this is the preview of the PDF file and you are already getting all the functionalities which you are getting in a default preview. Let's say if you are having pages in PDF, so the pages will be displayed here. And you are having few other features as well. You can download it, print it and yep. So this will be the functionality. Now let me show you the code itself, okay? So guys, this is my model component. So here I'm having two component basically. So basically we have created parent to child relationship between those thumbnail one and this pop-up component okay so let me start with html part so guys the html part is very easy you have seen me already creating these kind of pop-up in my previous videos as well and on my blog i'm having a separate post for this pop-up as well okay so here you may see this is the heading and here i'm using a iframe to display the url and here i'm passing a url and apart from that, I'm using a image tag as well, because you know, to display the PDF, we'll be using iframe and to display the image files, we'll be using the IMG SRC tag, which is basic HTML here. And here guys, if you will notice, so I'm just uh, checking a parameter, which is show frame. So if show frame is false, then it will display the image file. If the show frame is true, then it will display the iframe here, okay. Underneath that, we are just having a button just to close the model because we don't need any other functionality in this model. Okay. Now let's come to a JavaScript part. So I'm using API URL because I'm sending this, uh, I'm getting this URL from the parent one. I'm using API file extension. I'm getting the file extension also from the parent component. We are having show frame, which is false. Show model is show model is also false. And this is the function to display the model. And here I am checking the file extension. And if the file extension is PDF, then I'm making the show frame true and else I'm making the show frame false. And after that, I'm just making my model true. And on the close model, I'm just closing the model. So this is just basic functionality. And if you have noticed the model size was a little wider than the usual model. So for that, I have used the custom CSS here. So the same way you may add the CSS into your model. So you may see the width. The width is 90% and I have used the important word here to override the existing width. Okay. So that's how I'm getting this wider model here. Okay. Now let's move to the parent component. So the parent component was preview file thumbnail card. Okay. Let me open that. Yep. So this is my parent component, I think. So yeah. So here on this parent component, uh, let me remove this test keyword. So here uh, on this parent component, I'm using the on-click functionality on the parent div, which is this square box. 
okay let me just deploy the code once so the test word will be removed from the screen i use this test keyword just for testing purpose uh, when the functionality was not working okay it is deployed let me refresh it all right <clears throat> so here i have used the on click function on this parent div which is the file thumbnail div okay and here i'm just using the function file preview and on file preview what i'm doing i'm getting the uh, child component uh, first and i'm calling the show function of that child component just to show the model but still we have to pass the file extension and there were another parameter url yes url is very important okay so to pass the parameter guys uh, where is my com yeah here it is so I'm using APIs to pass the parameter. So here I'm passing file.download URL. I'll show you how to create the download URL. So this download URL will be visible on that iframe or the image SRC tag. And as well as I'm using the file thumbnail or file extension where I'm passing file.extension here. Okay. Now let's go to the download URL thing. So if you have seen me in last video, we have created a thumbnail url to display a small uh, kind of an image we cannot use the same url here because that will that can be used only for create, generating thumbnails okay so if i talk about pdf so for pdf also it will be generating a image thumbnail okay and the size was also small so let me show you the parent component of this component so technically it will be the grandparent component of our model okay so let's go to here yeah so earlier we were using this thumbnail file card which uh, we have used to display the file thumbnail to download url i'm using this function this parameter here and if you will notice so i'm using a static uh, url here and at the end of the url i have added my content document id of the file so that's how i'm creating a downloadable url of the file itself that can be displayed on a uh, iframe or in an image src and guys there will be one more setting which is needed so if you will go to setup and then search for file then there are file upload and download security settings so just open that and here edit it and look for pdf here it is so make sure this pdf setting is executed in browser the default value for the setting will be download so if the default setting is download so you won't be able to create the preview in an iframe because if the default setting is in download so whenever you will click on the pdf to preview it is going to download the pdf okay so let's say i'm clicking on this pdf for preview so you may notice the pdf has been downloaded here and we, we are not able to see the preview so that's how you have to edit it because by default it will be download only so you just have to move it to execute in browser so that is i think pretty much clear with its name like execute the file in browser show the file in browser so using that only you can get the preview of your pdf file like this okay and guys as usual i'll be having the complete code on my blog also which is salesforcepoll.com so do check out the complete code and feel free to modify the code as per a requirement there are no copyrights on the code basically okay so guys uh what should i post there uh guys i'll be posting my parent component and child component only i won't be posting this or maybe i can post this grandparent component also so you know you can get the whole code in a single frame so basically i'll be posting three components here the grandparent parent and child component the three component will be on the blog itself so if you need the complete code you can directly go to the blog or you you may check the blog link in the description of this video okay so if you like today's video guys and subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching